hey, did you did you hear about that one guy? Uh, did you see that article? Uh, did you read about uh, what's going on over there? Those are phrases that we use a lot. Uh, we we read things, we see things, we share things on social media all the time, and it seems like our world gets consumed by it. Uh, they start out with, you know, I was on Twitter the other day, or uh, I was scrolling Facebook and I saw this. I was on MySpace. Oh wait, that's sorry. I'm going back to high school there for a minute. There's so much about social media that I really enjoy. I like being able to to feel like I know people a little bit better. I know people that I don't see very often. I get to see a part of your life. I get to see your cute baby pictures and what your dogs are doing. There's a lot about social media that I enjoy. I enjoy that on Sunday morning, we get to share uh, what we do in our building with the world. I enjoy that we get to have this time to encourage one another. I enjoy the world news that we get to see. Uh, the sports information that gets shared, whether or not that's uh, something that I'm in favor of or not, I like getting to see it. And I like the camaraderie that gets to be shared on social media. Here's where social media gets tricky. And here's where we're about to tell it like it is. So much when I'm scrolling my social media news feeds gives me heartburn. And it's because of the things that I see uh, our church members, Christians, proclaimed Christians, sharing. And because we're so inundated with social media, that's a whole lot of rollades that are needed. And I'm not talking about necessarily the things that our kids are posting or even the things that people are wearing. And if I'm going to tell it like it is, we've got to talk about what we're sharing on social media. I want to take some liberties with a passage uh, for just a moment. Uh, we understand fully the importance of what it is that we surround ourselves with impact in our lives. And so if we're going to have such an impact, uh, if we're going to allow social media to impact our lives in such a great way, then we've got to think about what it is that we're allowing it to do to us. And so there's a, a pretty famous passage that most of us understand and know from Philippians chapter 4, verse 8. Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there's any excellence, if there's anything worthy of praise, think about these things. I want to take some liberties. I'm going to read it again. But I'm going to add that word share as we think about what we're doing on social media, what we're sharing. Share whatever is true. Share whatever is honorable. Share whatever is just. Share whatever is pure, share whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, excellent, worthy of praise. Share those things. Is what I'm posting true or is it a lie? Is what I'm posting just? Does it do good? Is it fair? Is it equitable? Does it evoke thoughts of purity or does it provoke rage? Am I being unifying or am I being divisive with what I share? There's so much good that can happen on social media. I think what we're doing here uh, from this church is good on social media. And let's never forget that the light to our world does not stop simply because we log into a media account. So what are you sharing? What are you thinking on? What will you become because of it? Give me memes, but don't give me heartburn. Go enjoy this Tuesday.